أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Praise be to Allah to whom belong all things in the heavens and on earth to him be praise in the hereafter and he is full of wisdom acquainted with all things He knows all that goes into the earth and all that comes out thereof all that comes down from the sky and all that ascends thereto and he is the most merciful the oft forgiving the unbelievers say never to us will come the hour say nay but most surely by my lord it will come upon you by him who knows the unseen from whom is not hidden the least little atom in the heavens or on earth nor is there anything less than that or greater but is in the record perspicuous that he may reward those who believe and work deeds of righteousness for such is forgiveness and the sustenance most generous but those who strive against our signs to frustrate them for such will be a penalty a punishment most humiliating and those to whom knowledge has come see that the revelation sent down to you from your lord that is the truth and that it guides to the path of the exalted in might worthy of all praise the unbelievers say in ridicule shall we point out to you a man that will tell you when you are all scattered to pieces in disintegration that you shall then be raised in a new creation has he invented a falsehood against allah or has a spirit seized him nay it is those who believe not in the hereafter that are in real penalty and in farthest error See they not what is before them and behind them of the sky and the earth if we wished we could cause the earth to swallow them up or cause a piece of the sky to fall upon them verily in this is a sign for every devotee that turns to Allah in repentance we bestowed grace a full time on david from ourselves o oh, you mountains sing you back the praises of Allah with him and you birds also and we made the iron soft for him commanding make you coats of mail balancing well the rings of chain armor and work you righteousness for be sure i see clearly all that you do and to solomon we made the wind obedient its early morning stride was a month's journey and its evening stride was a month's journey and we made a font of molten brass to flow for him and there were jeans that worked in front of him by the leave of his lord and if any of them turned aside from our command we made him taste of the penalty of the blazing fire they worked for him as he desired making arches images basins as large as reservoirs and cooking cauldrons fixed in their places work you sons of david with thanks but few of my servants are grateful then when we decreed solomon's death nothing showed them his death except a little worm of the earth which kept slowly gnawing away at his staff so when he fell down the jinn saw plainly that if they had known the unseen they would not have tarried in the humiliating penalty of their task there was for saba a four time a sign in their homeland two gardens to the right and to the left eat of the sustenance provided by your lord and be grateful to him a territory fair and happy and the lord oft forgiving but they turned away from allah and we sent against them the flood released from the dams and we converted their two garden rows into gardens producing bitter fruit and tamarisks and some few stunted lot trees that was the requital we gave them because they ungratefully rejected faith and never do we give such requital except to such as are ungrateful rejectors between them and the cities on which we had poured our blessings we had placed cities in prominent positions and between them we had appointed stages of journey in due proportion travel there in secure by night and by day but they said Our Lord placed longer distances between our journey stages but they wronged themselves therein at length we made them as a tale that is told and we dispersed them all in scattered fragments verily 
In this are signs for every soul that is patiently constant and grateful. And on them did Satan prove true his idea, and they followed him, all but a party that believed. But he had no authority over them, except that we might test the man who believes in the hereafter, from him who is in doubt concerning it, and your Lord does watch over all things. Say, call upon other gods whom you fancy besides Allah. They have no power, not the weight of an atom, in the heavens or on earth. No sort of share have they therein, nor is any of them a helper to Allah. No intercession can avail in his presence except for those for whom he has granted permission. So far is this the case, that, when terror is removed from their hearts, at the day of judgment, then will they say, What is it that your Lord commanded? They will say, That which is true and just, and he is the most high, most great. Say, Who gives you sustenance from the heavens and the earth? Say, It is Allah. And certain it is that either we or you are on right guidance or in manifest error. Say, you shall not be questioned as to our sins, nor shall we be questioned as to what you do. Say, our Lord will gather us together and will in the end decide the matter between us and you in truth and justice. And he is the one to decide, the one who knows all. Say, Show me those whom you have joined with him as partners. By no means can you, nay, he is Allah, the exalted in power, the wise. We have not sent you but as a universal messenger to men, giving them glad tidings and warning them against sin, but most men understand not. They say, When will this promise come to pass if you are telling the truth? Say, the appointment to you is for a day which you cannot put back for an hour, nor put forward. The unbelievers say, We shall neither believe in the scripture, nor in any that came before it. Could you but see when the wrongdoers will be made to stand before their Lord, throwing back the word of blame on one another? Those who had been despised will say to the arrogant ones, Had it not been for you, we should certainly have been believers. The arrogant ones will say to those who had been despised, Was it we who kept you back from guidance after it reached you? Nay, rather it was you who transgressed. Those who had been despised will say to the arrogant ones, Nay, it was a plot of yours by day and by night. Behold, you constantly ordered us to be ungrateful to Allah and to attribute equals to him. They will declare their repentance when they see the penalty. We shall put yokes on the necks of the unbelievers. It would only be a requital for their ill deeds. Never did we send a warner to a population, but the wealthy ones among them said, We believe not in the message with which you have been sent. They said, We have more in wealth and in sons, and we cannot be punished. Say, Verily my Lord enlarges and restricts the provision to whom he pleases but most men understand not. It is not your wealth nor your sons that will bring you nearer to us in degree, but only those who believe and work righteousness. These are the ones for whom there is a multiplied reward for their deeds, while secure they reside in the dwellings on high. Those who strive against our signs to frustrate them will be given over into punishment. Say, Verily, my Lord enlarges and restricts the sustenance to such of his servants as he pleases, and nothing do you spend in the least in his cause, but he replaces it, for he is the best of those who grant sustenance. One day he will gather them all together and say to the angels, Was it you that these men used to worship? They will say, Glory to you, our tie is with you as protector not with them. Nay, but they worship the genes. Most of them believed in them. So on that day, no power shall they have over each other for profit or harm. And we shall say to the wrongdoers, Taste you the penalty of the fire, the which you were wont to deny. When our clear signs are rehearsed to them, they say, 
This is only a man who wishes to hinder you from the worship which your fathers practiced. And they say, This is only a falsehood invented. And the unbelievers say of the truth when it comes to them, This is nothing but evident magic. But we had not given them books which they could study, nor sent messengers to them before you as warners. And their predecessors rejected the truth. These have not received a tenth of what we had granted to those. Yet, when they rejected my messengers, how terrible was my rejection of them. Say, I do admonish you on one point, that you do stand up before Allah. It may be in pairs, or it may be singly, and reflect within yourselves. Your companion is not possessed, is no less than a warner to you, in face of a terrible penalty. Say, no reward do I ask of you, it is all in your interest, my reward is only due from Allah, and he is witness to all things. Say, verily my Lord does cast the mantle of truth over his servants. He that has full knowledge of all that is hidden. Say, the truth has arrived and falsehood neither creates anything new nor restores anything. Say, if I am astray, I only stray to the loss of my own soul. But, if I receive guidance, it is because of the inspiration of my Lord to me. It is he who hears all things and is ever near. If you could but see when they will quake with terror, but then there will be no escape for them, and they will be seized from a position quite near. And they will say, we do believe now in the truth, but how could they receive faith from a position so far off? Seeing that they did reject faith entirely before, and that they continually cast slanders on the unseen from a position far off, and between them and their desires is placed a barrier, as was done in the past with their partisans, for they were indeed in suspicious disquieting doubt.